Margaret knows and understands China and the U.S. in their respective markets very well. She knows what China likes in lifestyle events, so she brings the best things she sees here in the States back home. She combines art and lifestyle while simultaneously personalizing her clients' visits based on their distinctive interests. We give the um, Chinese clients who have interest in this kind of uh, lifestyle and art area, and we show them how this running in US. Yeah. So basically, you're catering to whatever your client is into. If they're into arts, you set up a meetup with a NYU art professor, or like a Christie's auction, or whatever yes. they're into, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Is there a formula, have you figured out a formula that works for an event or for a gathering, at least here in New York City? Mm, formula? Mm, I don't think they have a, have a unique formula. Yeah. It's really case by case. Mm -hmm. uh, it mostly depends on uh, the customer's needs. So someone, uh, if they want to be learn something or being a student for NYU teach mm -hmm. or so the big institute of art, and we will bring them to the um, uh, to the uh, the administration office sometimes. Uh, but someone they would just like to. Uh, appreciation of this or they would like to uh, connect or uh, buy something and we will introduce them to a private tour part so that's really case by case yeah. you also partner your work with other Chinese entrepreneurs here in New York City who are doing really well. For instance, for New Year's, for Chinese New Year, you worked with Chan Famous Foods yeah. and that was a pretty successful event. What, what's the turnout for those types of partnerships? Are those partnerships important to you? Do they hold a special meaning to you? Yes, I think pa pa partnerships are really important yeah. to us, are really helpful for my company. And Xi'an Famous Food, their uh, Chinese New Year concert, mm -hmm. I think it's a very successful concert. And the president of Xi'an Famous Food, yeah. uh, Jason, and uh, he is very good. And he, yeah. I think he's uh, pretty uh, trustable, I mean, reliable uh, a business, a businessman who uh, can be trust to cooperate, and um, um, in in that cooperation, uh, uh, she famous food, and uh, they invited the famous singer from China to here to have a concert, and they sponsored for the uh, cost of the uh, transportation, and we provide some um, um, opportunities like to invite these singers to see the New York Fashion Show, the New York Fashion Week show, and we host a, a welcome party for the concert in the store uh, Valentino um, on Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good cooperation. And I still can learn something from other partners and uh, like uh, Jesse and uh, he's the president of Chef Famous Food and he grew up in US actually and he come to US early maybe uh, uh, under 10 years old so um, we have different um, the background kind of mm -hmm. and I can learn something more from these different partners yes and I know how to like them uh, deal with uh, the U.S. companies, deal with um, the different cultural case. Yeah, that's really helpful. Yeah. Do you have any plans of possible future international expansions? We still will focus on uh, the Chinese market and we will have program in U Europe. Mm -hmm. in in this September oh, wow. in, in our plan now and um, because the fashion week in Paris and Milan um, they are really attractive for our customers so based on our customers needs we will open a new project in Paris and Milan for this September's fashion week. Mm -hmm.
While Margaret says Chinese people normally prefer to come to the US to engage in business-related activities, she has been learning how to change that by exploring her options. In less than a year, she has managed to grow a married China enough to consider international expansions and upcoming sophisticated improvements to their digital platforms. You know, luxury normally entails exclusive, selective to only a few. At the same time, you want to expand to Europe, to other parts of the world. Where do you see yourself, your company standing in the future in terms of as a presence, having a presence in the world? Um, I know what's your mean. Mm, so I think uh, our future image, uh, we, we want to build a firm uh, which focused on um, uh, its uh, lifestyle and cultivation company for uh, Chinese people in this uh, maybe 20 or 30 years. It's like um, China is growing up and the economic is going up uh, very rapidly now. So people have um, potential needs for, um, for cultural, for art, for cultivation, for education uh, in a more elegant way sometimes. So we want our form can be something like connecting um, China mind and culture with um, other countries' culture, and we have events or educational program for people to give them a better life, to give them a better way of how living in a very elegant, polite, and yeah, some, something like that. Just a unique presence then. Yes, yes. You recently had an event in Omaha, which yeah. was your biggest event to date. Yes. Although luxury normally entails selective to just a few people, you're growing very, very fast. Tell me about that event. What do you plan on doing? Where do you plan on going? Do you plan on continuing expanding your public during your events? Yeah. Where are you heading? Okay, good. So um, the biggest event or uh, the biggest program we have uh, is the uh, Warren Buffett shareholder meeting uh, in, all, in Omaha, where is his hometown. And this time we have around 20 customers to join as a group. And I think why uh, it, it has a larger a scale than before is because um, this event is more business re re related. So um, in the future, I think uh, we will de develop more events uh, based on our customers' needs. It's like uh, for this um, Warren Buffett shareholder meeting because it's something related to um, investment and the stock. So a lot of uh, Chinese businessmen or finance people, they do really interesting in this. So that's why they all come for, for this. So in the future, um, if we want to expand this kind of business, I think we will develop more these interesting events. Yeah, maybe we can do another one with another famous investor or politicians like Bill Clinton, mm -hmm. or maybe Hillary, <laughs> maybe, maybe. So mm, I think this is the way, yeah. You've recently actually came back from China where you met with potential clients and companies who that can send you clients. How did that go? How was the turnout of that trip? Um, I think that's really uh, helpful. I mean, um, that that's the right way we should to uh, to continue, because our company is just based in New York, so we need very reliable business uh, partners in China, and who can bring us more and more customers, and especially uh, U.S. is a society which is more credible. Credible, how to say that? I mean, uh, but in China, it, it, it takes time to get people trust mm -hmm. each other. So, we need some people who can help us to build this long term oh, trust yeah. relationship. <laughs>